Hey everyone, this is Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, in today's video, I just want to cover on how to tune a main jet. Um, it's a pretty prop popular question, uh, or jetting in general, I think is a, a pretty popular topic uh, among bikes. And you know, when you do modifications, you kind of need to alter the, the fuel curve as well. So anytime you modify your bike, whether it be on the air box side, meaning you put in a high flow air filter or a free flowing exhaust, you're basically changing what the engine takes in and puts out, and therefore, you know, you need to change the fuel as well. So, um, I covered a pilot air screw adjustment in a prior video, and this setting turns out at one turn out, so we're within the range of an acceptable pilot jet size. So, the pilot jet size is good. Um, what this bike is experiencing is when you just hammer the throttle wide open, um, it's bogging really bad. Um, this free-flowing air filter is allowing a lot more air into the engine versus the stock air box, so um, it needs more fuel as a result. Now, uh, some of the tools I use to tune a main jet is just the seat of the pants feel on the bike and the sound of the engine. Now, obviously, if it's bogging, I know that there's an issue, and in this case, it's lean. Um, before you take anything apart, you could do a few quick tests. Um, you can read the spark plug. You can do a plug chop and read the spark plug and see if it's lean. Another thing you can do is you can wrap a bunch of masking tape and block off some of the airflow into the engine. And if the engine responds uh, better, then you know, you know you're running lean. Or you can flip the choke on, and if it's running better with the choke on, um, you're basically enriching it. And if it runs better, then you can, uh, you know, come to the conclusion that it's running lean. Now, before you start messing with the carb, there's a few things on the bike that you should address or make sure are in good working order. Otherwise, you're just going to chase your tail uh, with changing stuff on the carb. For example, uh, the carb needs to be clean and in tune. If it's a multiple carb setup, they need to be synced. Um, your valves need to be adjusted. I do have a valve adjustment on this bike. Uh, it's a 99XR70, by the way. Um, also, uh, so that, that takes care of the engine. The engine has to be in good tune. Another thing I like to do is mark the grip from 0 to 100%. Now I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so earlier I mentioned what I like to do with the throttle. Now for, for main jet, it doesn't really matter because you're holding it wide open against the stop. But if you're tuning other circuits, here's a quick tip for you. First of all, you want to rotate the throttle, and you can see the flip free play right here. Take it all out, meaning like as if you were opening it. And I have a paint marker here. And mark the grip and the throttle uh, whatever this thing's called, the throttle uh, assembly. Go wide open, and that's your 100% mark. So that's that's full throttle. Okay, go halfway. That's halfway. Go quarter. One-eighth. And you just want to make marks. Alright, so I know we're talking about the main jet, but here, that's zero throttle, one eighth, which is your pilot jet, one quarter, which is your throttle valve, that is, uh, I should, probably shouldn't have put a mark there, I'm not sure what that is, right, that's your needle tube jet, which doesn't apply here, that's your needle, and from here to there is your needle, and then from three quarter to full is your 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 uh, main jet. Okay, so that, you know when you're when you're riding the bike and something happens at a certain throttle position, you can quickly look at the throttle grip and say, "Oh man, that's three quarter to full," and you know I have an issue with my main jet. Now jetting is a trial and error method. Uh, at least for me, it is. Um, I kind of gather all the facts and then just make one change at a time. So if I'm just doing tuning. The carburetor just make one jet change at a time. Don't go changing the pilot, the needle, and the main jet. 
focus on one circuit at a time, get it right, and then go to another one. Um, so I know the pilot jet's fine by adjusting the screw. I'm within one to three turns out or whatever, and that means I have a correctly sized pilot jet. So I'm moving on. I'm going to tune the needle as well in another video. Um, but to focus on the main jet, I, I bought four different sizes up from stock. The stock is a 62. I went with a 65, 68, 70, and a 72. So before we begin, let me show you a video of how it currently runs. Again, the carb is clean. It has good compression. The valves have been adjusted. The spark plug is good. So it's, it's running as good as it can in stock form. Before I get to the video, one more thing I want to mention is just because the jetting is stock doesn't mean it's ideal for your riding style uh, and your location. I mean, think about it. The, the OEM is providing a carburetor to satisfy everybody. And, you know, there's different people living in different altitudes, temperature, humidity. That all has an effect on jettings. And they have constraints like the EPA and God knows who or what that, you know, they have to make the bike run halfway decent out of the box. You can alter the OEM jetting and improve on performance. I mean, there's so many bikes that I get in here and they're just, they're just lean right out of the box. You make a couple jet change, changes and the bike really responds well to it. So, um, it's just something you have to play with. Get on forums and ask other members uh, what they're using, uh, what works well, and just, just it's a trial and error method that you're going to have to try. So before we get started, let me show you a quick clip of how the bike currently runs, and we'll go from there. chop. Alright, to perform a plug chop, you're going to want um, an old spark plug in the engine. You want to bring the engine up to operating temperature, shut it down, remove the plug, install brand new plugs, and then go do your plug chop. And the plug chop is basically um, holding the engine at a certain throttle position. Not RPM, throttle position. So since we're doing the main jet, we want to be at full throttle. So when I take it out for a plug chop, I'm going to go out in the front street. You want to have the slightly uphill road or track or dirt road or whatever. And I'm just going to hold it wide open and shift through the gears till it gets to full speed. And I'm going to pull in the clutch and shut down the engine. I don't want the engine to uh, turn over. Now this, this bike does not have a clutch. But once it's in third gear, I, I just slightly lift up on the shift lever and it goes into neutral. And then I just coast to a stop and what you're going to want to do is pull the plug and, and just read it and look see what it looks like. Um, 
I know that it's severely lean, not severely lean, but I know it's lean, and I'm going to continue to up the jet until it feels good, and then I'm going to start cutting open the spark plugs and seeing if I can read way down on the, on the electrode, and not an electrode, but the, uh, the insulator, and just to see what it looks like. All right, so let me show you a video of the plug, plug chop in stock form, stock jetting. All right, so I did a plug chop with the stock jetting, and here's the plug. Uh, it's completely white, a little bit of color there. Um, again, we should probably cut it open and take a look, but uh, we're nowhere near in resolving the jetting, and I know it's lean, so um, I'm not going to cut this open. And I noticed that the strap is discolored all the way down, so that means it's running too hot. Um, but when it's running lean, you know, the combustion chamber is a little hot, so um, let's see what happens when we up the jet, jetting and resolve the bog. Maybe this will come back, creep up, and, and be in the correct heat range. Right now, this plug is a CR6 HSA. So let's uh, up the main jet and see what happens. All right, so here's what we have for tuning the main jet. Um, the stock jet is in, in this carburetor, it's a 62, I have a 65, 68, a 70, and a 72, so I have the next four sizes up. Also, I bought a bunch of spare plugs, uh, brand new spark plugs, so when we do the plug chop, we can uh, warm up the bike, remove that plug, and insert a brand new one, and go ahead and do our plug chop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the, th I'm going to go up three sizes. Um, just to make a drastic change here, and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. And you know, this is a trial and error process. Maybe we'll have to drop down to either of these, um, and we'll go from there. So let me button this back up. Um, actually, let me just show you how to remove this main jet. Uh, what I like to do is buy cheap Harbor Freight screwdrivers, and what I do is I sand it down on a bench grinder. Um, or a belt and get it to fit real nice in the brass. Sometimes a normal screwdriver doesn't fit too well, especially when the pilot jet is sunk in a well. Um, so this really helps. It fits nice. Alright, so I'll button it up and then uh, we'll do our plug chop at three sizes up. Okay, one second. Jack, I'll be back in one minute, okay? I'll be right back, okay?
All right, so here's what the plug looks like uh, with a 70 main and fourth position uh, needle clip. Uh, this is a plug, a brand new plug that I did a plug chop on at full wide open throttle. Um, basically took it up and down the block, block a few times. I probably have about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so of engine run time. So um, let's see what we can read about this plug. Um, now you don't want to read the porcelain. The porcelain's white, that's fine. Uh, what you want to read is this right here, this base, all the way around, and you can see how it there's no soot on it, and it started to discolor. It's getting chocolate brown. So chocolate brown is perfect, um, and it's you can't see it here, but it's about down about one thread. So all the way around down to the first thread, it's discolored or chocolate brown. So this is a very good. Uh, plug reading. Uh, I'm going to leave the main jet as is. Maybe it's a tad on the lean side. I could go up one size or it's 60 degrees right now and you know this is pri primarily going to be ridden at 60, uh, 70, 80 degrees. So I'm going to do another chop when it gets warmer out and I'm sure you know it has to be leaner when it's warmer so this might actually be perfect. Um, one more thing to note is this is the ground strap. You want to know see where it's burnt to and right now it's about there which is halfway which means it's a perfect heat range um, if it was if that burnt mark was closer to the tip that would mean it's too cold and if it was down towards the uh, base ring it would be too hot so overall this plug looks great um, I know this camera probably can't pick up all the detail um, but what I'm gonna do is take a bunch of pictures with my DSLR and upload them to the site which will uh, be the blog post underneath this um, video so that's what the plug looks like uh, there's no bogging it runs great uh, I'm calling it done on to the next project alright so thanks for watching it's Matt from howtomotorcyclerepair.com